Hello. Husky's back again with more Vancouver Connection GM mode franchise mode commentary. Uh, last video we kicked off year three. Right? Yeah. Uh, we had an interesting start. We're 25, 18, and 7. Currently holding a playoff spot with a one point lead over the team behind us. Um, I mentioned a couple possible trades I want to make. Showed you who might get traded. Uh, I've narrowed my players that I want to trade for down to three. Uh, those three being Philip Forsberg, the Godolbin kid from San Jose, and Jonathan Huberdeau from the Florida Panthers. Huberdeau, Forsberg, Godolbin. Those are the ranked in terms of lowest to highest trade value. Huberdeau's the lowest. He's an 88, 25 years old with immediate, with low elite potential. Philip Forsberg's also an 88, and Godolbin's an 87. He's the youngest, the highest trade value, and the highest point production so far. Uh, if I go to stats, I believe that. Let's see. So San Jose, Godolbin's got 46 points in 52 games. That's really impressive. Um, Nashville, Forsberg has 35 and 51. And Huberto has 39 and 49. Huberto's a playmaker, which ideally that's what I need for my team. Uh, Forsberg's a sniper, and Godolbin's also a playmaker. I would love to grab Godolbin, but his trade value is through the roof. Huberto's is pretty reasonable. I could probably get him for a couple of young players. Um, I recently moved uh, Sebastian Ajo to the first line because I'm going to sim the month leading up to the trade deadline. To see if his goal scoring persists on a different line. Because um, I want to make sure it's not just him playing against the team's worst line. And that's why he's scoring. So if he keeps scoring, we'll see. It's basically between him and Varanen. Uh, Varanen I can never, and I never have the stupid thing up. Basically him and Jakob. But I'm going to go ahead and sim to... Uh, Sim to the trade deadline. I'll probably do the trade deadline in this video. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure. But, I mean, ideally, if I make this trade for this top line winger, um, I don't want to give my first round pick up this year. I've already lost my second round pick previously to get... Um, it was either the Tyler Johnson trade or it was the Max Domi trade. I don't remember. Um, but Sebastian, so Aho, Jakob, Gramlin's another possibility. I've seen a lot of um, a lot of hold on Vertanen, Vertanen, Vertanen. Yeah, I was right. Um, and I think I'm gonna hold on to him. He is really the only one of his role, the power forward role on this team. Um, so I I can find a place for him. Uh, Gramlin was one that was mentioned because. The job that he's doing might just get up and replaced. He's doing his job well. He's leading the team in points. He's also growing, which is nice. Well, one nothing win, nice. Um, in addition to that, uh, Sprong and the Miners hasn't really progressed as I had hoped or anticipated. I guess I shouldn't say anticipated. You never want to assume players are going to be good because then it just ends up being bad. So, alright, so it should stop here. Yeah, so we're 31, 24, and 7. That's what, 68 points? 69. Looks like we're one point out of a playoff spot. So we're fighting still. Gremlin's only gotten 5 points this month. Oof. So, are we tied with somebody in the Central? Well, we're two points. So we're one point back of Arizona and two points back of Nashville. Okay, so we're. We're keeping pace with the wild card. I would like us to be a little more competitive in the division, but San Jose is on another level with that good old kid. All right, let's see. We're averaging 2.94 goals. Oh, that's Arizona. The We're averaging 2.8. That's still pretty good. We're only giving up 2.3. Fucking every time. Oh, hey, Tay scored. Goal. All right, power play 16. Not the greatest. Penalty kill 78. It went up. Still not all that thrilled. We still suck at home. How are we so bad at home? I don't know. Uh, let's look at stats. So Aho had 17, 
and Jakob had 13. Uh, Sebastian scored two goals in that time. Jakob scored three. Or, yeah, no, they both scored two. Um, I, hmm. Matthew Perot, 40 points. That's really impressive for a third line center. Who's my second line center? Horvat? My first line center is all the way down here. Like, I understand we have depth scoring. Like, our top nine stops with Vertanen. So that's really impressive that they're all up there. David Jones, 19 points. Kruger with 16. Tanev still with one point. I tell you what, man. I know he's a defensive defenseman. He's a plus 11. He's got one point. Like, not even secondary assists. He's got the same amount of points as Josh Joris does, and Joris has only played three games. Champkin has five. Ulevi has ten. He's a two-way defender. I mean, he should be. I guess his puck skills aren't great, so he doesn't have the highest offensive awareness. Jordan Subban with 17 points. I'm okay with that for being an 80 overall. Josh Morrissey has 27. That's good. Ben Hutt, another two-way defender. Yeah, he's got decent offensive awareness, so I mean, he's got 19. I'd like some more scoring out of my defense, but... Man, this Domi, Berchi, and Horvat line... Berchi. It just is not working. They're a minus. They're the only players that are minus on this team. That's not cutting it. At all. Oh, uh, let's look at goalies. Oops. Like, I kind of want to look at rookie goalies, but... 246, 5, 3, and 1. 26, 22, and 4. And 26 percentage, four shutouts. Demko's got three shutouts in his five wins. I'm telling you, I'm really close to just giving the reins to Demko here. All right, let's see our AHL. I know it's only been a month. Sprong with 49 points. Nolan Patrick with 43. So that putting whoever I put on their line seems like it's helped. I'm surprised Patrick isn't scoring more, but I guess he doesn't have a very accurate shot. He's just got a hard shot. He's putting up points, though. Sprong's really doing well. Sprong maybe might be that bottom six scorer that I put on this team. He might take Sebastian's spot. Or I call up Patrick. I don't... I haven't decided. Alright, so... I'm still trying to figure out who I want to make this deal for. Um... I think the one that makes the most sense is Jonathan Huberdo. Because Forsberg is a sniper. Goodolman, I would love to add this Goodolman kid. He's 23, he's 88 overall. God, he's a sniper. I would change him to a playmaker. God, what would I have to do to get him? Let's, let's just see. The players that I want to trade... So, he would pop in. Let's look at players they want. So, he would slot into the first line. I mean, ideally, I move Granlund. I don't want to. But I've got somebody who can take his spot. I really think he's expendable. What's my? What are my draft picks worth? I don't want to trade a first-round pick this year. But I'm okay trading a first round pick next year. Now they don't want any draft picks. Do they want any goalies? They want goal. Oh, Luongo's got no trade value. And they probably don't have any roster space. They have a little bit. Let's uh, let's look at Forsberg again because I'm pretty sure Forsberg is a sniper. Yeah, he's a sniper. He's got. It'd be the same thing. I'd change him to a playmaker, probably. <laughs> He's got pretty high trade value there. Um, is Huberto still real low? Huberto's is still pretty low. 25 years old, 88 overall. He's a playmaker. Um, I can probably trade Huber trade for Huberto with giving up the least. Depending on who they want back. They don't want Sprong. David. Is it David? It's David. 
right, David? Daniel. They don't want Daniel Sprong, but Sprong's lighting up the AHL. So I'm curious, what's his role? His role is up forward now. I wonder if I should call him up. Jakob and Sebastian have the same trade value. Jakob's 23, Sebastian's... I feel like Aho just gives me... I mean, Jakob's stats are so much better, though. Second line forward, third line checking forward. Have somebody else score? No, it's just the Leafs game. Um... And they want... Uh, do I just bite the bullet and trade Granlund? If I had somebody to jump in and take Tanev's defensive spot, I mean, I technically do. Michael Kempney's sitting there scratch. He's an 81. What does that put my defense at? 87, 87, or 87, 85, 84, 85, 80, 81. That's not terrible. But what's... Is Michael Kempney a defensive defenseman? He is, so that, that doesn't really do much for me. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, I really don't want to move Granlund. Because he's playing well. He's also cheap-ish. Ah, uh, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Honestly, the easiest way to do this deal is to do one of these two, Jakob or Aho, and a first. Oh, man. Who's got better what? Jakob's better, a better shot, better puck skills, better skating. Got better senses. Jakob's the better player. Sebastian just, he doesn't even, okay, yeah, that, that's. This is, this is the easiest trade to make. I'm not thrilled about making it, because I feel, but at the same time. I feel like Hubert was worth a first round pick. And it's not this year's first round pick, it's next year's first round pick. Um, you got like nobody that you can give me. Can you give me a third this year? Can we do this? Sebastian Ajo in a first for Jonathan Hubert in a third. Doesn't match our needs particularly well, and the value isn't there. Alright, so if I take a fourth? And Huberdeau for Aho in a first? They really don't want that draft pick, do they? No, they're trying to trade draft picks, so they don't want to trade. Alright, you know what? If I'm going to trade that draft pick, I'm going to go big. Obviously, they're trying to trade draft picks, too. I need to trade for somebody that wants draft picks. And the sad thing is, that's none of these teams. Oh, man. It's almost like I have to trade Gremlind and Aho just to come close for any of these players. They don't want Sprong. And if I put Gremlind in here, I think it just gives them too much. I would need to bring something, but now I feel like I'm giving too much away. Even if they want to trade me, like, this is going to be too much. <laughs> yeah, these three guys aren't enough for just Forsberg. Well, I mean... What I'm willing to do... Oh, right there, I already tried that. Um... trying to think. I've got Nolan Patrick down there. If I bring in... Whoever I bring in takes... Takes the wing spot on the first line. So my first line right now is... 
Grandland. I don't know what my first line is. I should go look. Figure out what I'm doing here before I... Um, let's see. Grandland Johnson Aho. So Grandland would be bumped down or replaced. I think I'm gonna, oops, not do that. Do this. So if I trade Aho, that would freeze up a third line spot that I'd probably call somebody up from. If I trade Granlin, that frees up a, that's where the first liner would go that I'm trading for. The second line I have to change. It's not getting the job done. Oh, I think somebody might be home. I have to close the door real quick. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Don't want any distractions or unnecessary noise. Man, I'm I'm torn. Like I need to get the 85 off the first line, but by trading away. The 87, I don't feel like I do that. I mean, he's not going to be an 87. He's that's morale. Oh boy. Do I trade two quality players? Call up Patrick. Oh, I saw Tyler Benson on that line. Tyler Benson might be a player to use too. His offensive categories, I think they're nuts. Oh man, what do I do? You know what? I don't want to trade Grandland. But if I get somebody back. <sighs> what sucks is I think Berchi is kind of the odd man out here. He's the oldest guy out of these guys. He's the same role that I want to move, I want to call up. I wonder if his trade value is decent. So if I want, let's say, Philip Forsberg. Oosh. Do they want Sven Barchi? Berchi. Berchi's trade value sucks. It's the same as these guys. So that really doesn't help me. Grandland. Grandland an extra second. Let's see if it goes through. I, it won't, but. Feeling the needs we. Feeling needs we have, but the value isn't where it needs to be. Alright. Grandland in a first. Oops. Grandland an extra first for Philip Forsberg. One woefully insufficient. One nothing Hawks after the first. Getting outshot 19 to 9. Oh boy. Alright, so, do I include Berchi? I feel like I'm giving up too much if I do that. Plus, they don't have, well, they do have cap space. They wouldn't say proposed if they didn't. Um, what if you give me back next year's second? Isn't sufficient at all. So if I take away the second, actually, if I give it, give me a third next year. Probably still won't go through. No, not a well, lot. The trade screen's broken. Sure is. B. Be... 
is too far off. I feel like if I take the draft pick away from them, I'm giving them too much. Let's see. You have any players you want to trade? Not really. None of these guys are going to turn into anything. And I also can't read any of them because the stupid font is red. Holy 99 discipline. Why? Grandlin of first and Bear Tree for Philip Forsberg. Even that's not enough. Man. It's this is tough because I'm trading with playoff teams who I know they don't want. I know they don't want draft picks. Well they want this one. Try this instead. Yeah, I didn't think so. So instead of Berchi, hmm, uh, this is. I feel like I'm giving up way too much, but at the same time, oops. Rejected. Next year's second? Aho, Granlin, and the second for Forsberg? Oh my god, man, this is frustrating. I'm giving up way too much here. Alright, how about instead of the second, I give you Daniel Sprong. Holy shit, man, this is... They do not want to part with Philip Forsberg. The value's just too far off the table. I don't think I can do this deal for Forsberg. I think I have to do a deal for Huberto. I don't think I can make the deal to get either of these top players I just don't have the trade value necessary um, if I do this deal Aho and Granlin for Huberto and I don't fucking care somebody if I can give me Derek McKenzie I don't think this will go through I have to put somebody on waivers, taking that into account, I have to say no. Really? Don't think this is enough. No. Second round pick? Alright. I don't know if that was a good deal or not. Because... I move Granland and I bring in Huberto. But Huberto's the exact same overall now. He's an 87. He's a better overall first line... He's a better overall player. But I think I basically just swapped players. I basically swapped contracts. And gave them next year's second. His offensive awareness is higher. I'm actually going to drop Berchi down the line. Put Aho up here, see if this helps anything. Ah, 
I don't know if that was good or not. Not only that, I still don't have a place to call Patrick up. I wanted to call Patrick up. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually going to make a deal to bring Nolan Patrick up because I think he's had enough of the miners. It's probably going to hurt my playoff run, but who can take him? He's not getting the job done offensively. The only issue is I'm not going to be able to get anything for him. This Kirby Reichel? Christian Reichel. No, Kirby Reichel's on the NHL roster already. Yeah, he's down here. Um, so I don't want to send Barchi, Barchi down. Actually, what I want to do... Is refill my draft picks. I don't want to be over the salary cap. Is there anybody that wants to trade that's in the NHL? No. AHL? Either of these guys? Still over the. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm trying to do this deal is because I've got. Pl I have too many players and too many up and comers. They would have too many players. And Berchi's the oldest one on the team in the sniper role. Alright. So what that does is that allows me to bring up allows me to bring up Nolan Patrick. Because I brought Patrick up. I don't need to send anybody down. No, I'm okay with this. So we do this. We put Patrick out there. I need to change his player's type to a sniper. He's a right-handed shot. I put Aho back on the third pair, or the third line with Perot and Vertanen. I have Nolan Patrick playing with Horvat and Domi. Do I want that? Is this a good enough combo, or do I just straight up put Nolan Patrick on the first line? I don't think I should put Patrick on the first line. I don't know if I want him playing with Horvat and Dom. Well, Domi's fine. I don't know if I want him playing with Horvat. Horvat's got decent offensive. Well, I'll start him there. We'll, we'll end the season with these lines. Huberdo, Johnson, Jakob, Patrick, Horvat, Domi, Aho, Perot, Vertanen, Jones, Kruger, Roussel. Defense stays the same. Special teams. I want Patrick on the special teams. Alright, he's already out there. Need him on the right, left side, because he's already in the shot. Alright, this is all good. I don't know if I made the right move with Huberdo. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. I think we'll be okay. Now I wonder why my should I put Hutton out here instead of Morrissey? Let's put Hutton there instead of Morrissey. That might be better. Kruger and Horvat. 84.
Yeah, I'm really not sure about that deal. I'm at 30 minutes. Oh my. I mean, there was a lot, a whole lot of nothing in this video. All right, back to edit lines. So now, who do I put at center? Do I just bring this kid back up? I think I just bring Oliver back up. Oops. Unless any of these guys have something. 72, 78. Yeah. These guys are learning anything. 77. Does Oliver still have 84? He's 83, so I'll put him there. He's gotten significantly worse, but that should be okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put him up there. We'll just bring in one of these centers. Got the highest overall, top six, low top nine. Oh wait, what am I doing? This guy. What's his potential? HL top six. HL top six. So we'll put him in. Yeah, that's fine. Let these guys play it out. Defensively, we're still the same. Yep. Bull tending still Condon and Rogers. Yep. All right, so I might have thrown away my playoff run here by calling up Patrick and trading away my leading point getter for Jonathan Huberdo. But at the same time, Huberdo has twenty more, or t uh, twelve more points than Granlin did. Granlin had five points that last month. My second line is abysmal. Minus, they're the only minus on the team. So maybe this Patrick call up will help them. I'm actually going to do this instead. I'm going to put Aho on the second line. Because this third line seems to score. No matter who's on that left wing. And maybe that's what Patrick needs. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm already at 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and sim the rest of the season. Because I don't want the end of the season to be its own video. So I'm going to go ahead and sim. Just sim straight through. Not going to stop it for anything. Um, because if we make the playoffs, I want the playoffs to be their own videos. I don't want this. Because this is going to be like five minutes of simming. I don't want a whole video just me being. Me simming two months. Not even two months. A month and a half. And then just looking at stats for another 15 minutes. So. We'll just sim this, see if we get a playoff spot, and go from there. I'm hoping we get a playoff spot. I would like some postseason videos. This has been rough not making the playoffs so far, especially after playing as Minnesota for eight seasons where we only missed the playoffs once. <sighs> Come on, boys. We need some... We need to string together some wins, but we got some tough games. We got the Kings and the Sharks twice. This is a tough division to end the season with. All right, we beat the Kings. We beat the Sharks. No, couldn't even get a point. 35, 27, and 9. You know what I forgot to do that I was going to do this sub this series was take note of my previous season's records so I could compare and contrast. Totally forgot to do that. All right, we need to win two of these three games. All right, there we go. Three straight wins. Four straight wins? Can, can, we, can we get four straight? There it is. Four straight Ws. That's nice. Edmonton, San Jose, LA, Dallas. Edmonton's struggling. They'll beat us, though. Four nothing. That's five straight. Come on, boys. Big push here. Oh, eight to three. That's That might be a heartbreaker. Oh, but we respond with a 7-0 win over... All right, so let's look at the stat standings. Are we a playoff team? We're currently third in the division. Third in the division with 91 points. Anaheim's a wild card team. We have, so we have three points on them. We have three points on the wild card. I think we're a playoff team, boys. I think we've done it. I think for the first time in my reign as GM, we've, uh, I think we've successfully navigated our way to the playoffs. Oh, I forgot I was going to put Demko in. No, not too late now. We're just going to roll with it. We probably have to win one of these three games to ensure a playoff spot. We just one. So all we need is just one win. Beat Dallas and just, oh boy. We just need one win, boys. There it is. I think that's, I think that's enough to get us in the playoffs. Let's see. Show me a playoff spot. 
Yes, we're in. There we go. Let's go ahead and see who we draw in the first round. 31 sellouts. Hey, we got it. We draw the Arizona Coyotes. Max Domi going home to face his old team. All right, so next video, I will go over the end of the season stats. And we will kick off round one against the Phoenix Coyotes. Or the Phoenix, sorry. Arizona Coyotes. Um, sorry for the long video. But like I said, I didn't want to end it with just that trade and then do the simming and have an extra video before the playoffs. But yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment um, how bad you think my trades were. Um, I mean, we're a playoff team, so maybe they weren't terrible. Um, I'm still kind of torn about trading Granlund, but I'll get over it. Um, yeah, but as always, thanks for watching and make sure to come back tomorrow for more GM mode and we're finally, finally getting the playoff run. So I will see you for game one.